candle box, but these are the items that we'll need for this candle box project, okay? Of course, you're hammering your nails and usually one inch nails, just a little bitty nails, okay? And then your um, two inch, these are one by twos by two, okay, that I cut. And these are one by twos by 12. And this is a one by four by 12, okay? And that's your basis for your box. Of course, you're gonna varnish those, and I'll varnish it a little bit on camera just for, you know, the people there, the novices. As far as the decorations, you're gonna need Spanish moss, a little bit of Spanish moss, not a lot. You're gonna need a few poinsettias, okay? And I'm gonna use three. I'm gonna use three uh, pine cones, okay? And then three three or four little Dollar Tree. I think I got 16 of these in there, but the Dollar Tree, yeah. Uh, I'll probably use these guys to stick them in here and there. I might, I don't know, but I always keep them available, with Christmas items. But basically, you're definitely gonna need some little snippets of garland, just random pieces, random lengths. And then you're gonna need these I got from Dollar Tree, of course, the little Dollar Tree Voltif holders and then three Voltif candles. And then three little pieces of uh, floral foam that I'm gonna stick in between each. And I'll show you where I use these. Okay, let's get started. I'm not gonna do the whole thing on camera, of course, but I always wanna include this. Beginning. Okay, because to prepare your wood is usually the very first thing you want to do when you're doing the wooden projects. So, first thing we're going to do is our varnish. And like I said, I use the dark because that way I don't have to really let it set. I just put it on, do all the pieces of wood, and then wipe it off. Okay. This little plastic stuff, I get it at uh, Dollar Tree. A big, huge sheet of it. You cut it up and use it. lasts quite a long time because it's disposable. Okay? But anyway, getting all of this done. Varnished. And then wipe it off afterwards. I don't want to bore you guys too much. Put all of that on camera. But after I get this varnished and wiped off, we'll come back and I'll show you the very uh, simple, definitely novice way of putting this wooden box together. Because like I always say, I am not a carpenter, I am a crafter. <laughs> so, go. BRB. Okay, guys. Okay. Now, here we go. We got them stained and what have you. And I'm not going to put the whole thing together on camera, but I am going to show you, kind of, give you kind of an idea. Because, like I say, mine aren't precise. They're, you know, basically 12 by 12 and that type of thing. But by the same token, I just want to give you some idea because it's not just straightforward always. So, go in the corner. This is what I do, okay? And whatever you're nailing on or whatever, be sure it's something that you're not real super concerned with because there are times when you go through. Okay? We're getting close. But the reason I'm doing it like this is because it gets off kilter. Okay, and now that it's almost down there, you want to get that flush. This is my way of doing it, guys. And some of you guys that probably are more experienced might have a better way, but this is how I do it. Okay, that's that one. Okay. Then I put the other one on this side just to have leverage. Let's see if you can see that, yeah. Just to have leverage and then go ahead and nail your other side over here, okay? 
okay and then let me go ahead and do that so that I can show you you know times when you got to pull these puppies out see 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 <laughs> they don't always stay but you know I guess you could use lo longer nails but I don't have a whole lot of uh, luck with the longer nails so okay and then the very next one that you're going to want to put on here for me anyway is I nailed this one next okay because in that order nail this one next and then this one and after I get them nailed I'll come right back because it's just simple nail that one this one that one and then this one be right back and here's the next step in this process all right, you're going to put your little increments, and I cut this with a knife. Put your little increments of uh, floral foam down because what's going to fit in between each your votives. And the purpose of the Spanish moss is to give it some height, okay? Okay, a little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit there. Okay. This is where your candles are going to sit. Might want to put a little bit more because you want that here. Get some more Spanish moss in there. And adjust that. And basically to show you how to, where's my Spanish moss? Here we go show you how how you're gonna get your look okay more Spanish moss spread that out a little more okay and where's my other candle okay now what you got here going on here is your foundation the next thing you're gonna do is start placing your embellishments okay and this is where after you place them you place them first I do and uh, then you glue. Because once you, a lot of times, you're gonna place them and say, well, you know what, that'll probably look better over here or over there. Okay, see how I did that? Okay, put my florals down first. Then I would put my, my garland down, okay? And you just keep adding all of your different embellishments. Just keep adding and adding and adding. And it, it's a matter of taste as far as what you come out with. And where you stick stuff and where you, you know, you put it in and then you might move it around. But before you start gluing, see? Use your foam. Before you start gluing. Place first. I might want them up higher and I might add some more. I think I will add some more Spanish moss up under it. But this is just to show you how simple this is. Okay. And these I'll probably add at the end to glue after I get plenty of plenty of cushion of um, the garland in here. And then like I say at the end I'll probably add these. So let's get it. This box stuffed with all these goodies and I'll be right back. Okay guys, all right, here's your finished centerpiece. It's pretty simple. Once you get your box made, then again, you just add your embellishments and you've got something really, really cute going on, okay? I think it's adorable, I love this. Look what you made. Look what you made. You are so good. Until next time. Bye, guys.